So how to live stream inside your Facebook group using StreamYard in 2024 and 2025, okay? Because Facebook, they remove third-party API. So all your live stream softwares that used to work, now it doesn't work anymore, okay? But there is the workaround solution. So in this training, I want to show you step-by-step step how to do it, how to set it up, okay? So a couple steps we need to do. Number one, go to your Facebook group. We need to set up an event, okay? So I'm gonna set up a test event to show you the process. Go to event, then create a new one. I'm gonna just name it as test, whatever time it is. Here, select virtual, select Facebook Live. Give it a description, then you create event. Give it a minute, okay? So once you create an event, we need to create another live stream event on StreamYard as well, okay? So event has been created. Next step, go to set up live video. It's gonna take you to the live producer page, okay? So three things we need to do, okay? Connect video source, complete post details, Go live is simply just hit this button, okay? Once we bring the video feed from StreamYard to here. So let's do the second one, complete post details first. Make sure you do this, otherwise you cannot go live, okay? So here, post detail is right here. Give it a name, give it a description, and save. Then you're gonna see green check mark is on, okay? Now we need to connect our video feed from StreamYard. So a couple things we need to do. Number one, you need to select a video source, select streaming software. Number two, click on advanced settings, persistent stream key, make sure you turn it on. So every time when you go live, the Facebook, you're gonna use the same stream key. You only need to set up StreamYard, the, the, the new destination once, okay? Because you are using the same stream key. We need this data and also server URL, this data, okay? We're gonna use it in a minute. Let's go to StreamYard. We need to create a new destination, okay? So go to destinations, then you simply add the destination. We need to select this one. It's called custom RTMP. Click on it. Then the first one is the RTMP server URL. So go back to your live producer page, server URL right here. Copy it, come back here, paste it right here. Second one, stream key. Go to live producer page. Make sure, right, turn the persistent stream key so it's the same stream key every single time. Copy it, come back here, paste it right here. Nickname, just your Facebook group name, okay? Demo Facebook group. You don't need to select this. Just add RTMP server, boom. Now you see we have a new destination, a demo Facebook group that we just created, okay? Before we go live, we also need to set up the live event on StreamYard, okay? But when you set up that live event on StreamYard, that post will not be posted inside your Facebook group. So we set up the event on Facebook group first, but we also need to set up a live event on StreamYard, okay? So let me show you. Go to home. I'm gonna create a new live stream. Select the Facebook group that we just created. You can also add other destination, right? But let's only do Facebook group right now, okay? Title, give it a title. Create live stream, enter studio. Okay, the process is like this. You need to log, once you set up the live broadcast on StreamYard, right? You need to go live on StreamYard first, okay? So if I want to go live, I will hit this go live button. So I go live on StreamYard first. At this moment, you are not live in inside Facebook group yet, okay? But once you go live on StreamYard, you need to come back to this page. So you need to make sure you keep this page open, okay? Once you go live on Stream, you're gonna see your video being shown here. Then you're also gonna see this green check mark is on. And also you're gonna see this button light up, okay? So once you see all this, you just simply hit go live, then boom you are live in inside your Facebook group, okay? So usually there is like a, take about three seconds, okay? Let's say I go live on here, right? Then usually three, four, five seconds later, then you're gonna see video being shown here, then you can go live. So that's the entire process, all right? Give it a try. Let me know how it works. Let's go.